Good evening, everyone. I hope you had a, a great weekend and are looking forward to the start of uh, Chapter 2 in uh, Lodging Management. Got my check-in, check-out book right here, uh, ready to roll with you all. So uh, before that, I just wanted to jump into a couple of uh, housekeeping tips for the course really quick. Uh, saw some excellent, excellent engagement and discussion in your introduction posts and also your posts for Chapter 1. So thank you very much for your participation. Uh, through the rest of the course, you're going to follow the same cadence. Each week, there's going to be a reading assignment followed by a discussion post. Please respond to two of your classmates in a professional way. You can agree, disagree, all that kind of good stuff. Just please make sure that we're doing it in a professional way. Uh, there will be a homework assignment where you answer some uh, questions from the reading and then a very, very short quiz. A little uh, side note about the quizzes. Uh, sometimes I may use true-false. Sometimes I may use short answer or multiple choice. But it would highly, highly, highly encourage all of you to uh, make sure that you're looking at all of the chapter. It will really help you with the uh, quizzes in this course. I guarantee it. So just please make sure you're keeping a heads up for that. So uh, everything opens up. Monday morning at 8 a.m. closes at 11.59 the following Sunday. Uh, please, if you have any barriers or challenges, just let me know. I'll be more than happy to work with you. Several of you have uh, reached out about some uh, dates in the future and things like that with travel or some big life plans. I think one of you have a wedding that you're going to, so I'll be more than happy to uh, help accommodate with those if I know about them beforehand. Um, reaching out when uh, assignments are already past due or anything like that creates another set of challenges, so just please uh, keep up the constant communication, which all of you are, and are showing true professionalism. So I really, really appreciate that. So uh, on to chapter two, and the authors do a really good job in this textbook, even though it was uh, this version was published pre-pandemic. Chapter two is one of the uh, best academic resources I've seen for describing the modern hotel industry. Uh, it talks about segmentation. It talks about big, huge, mega convention resorts that you think of like the Gaylord Palms or a casino resort like the um, Flamingo out in Vegas or Caesar Palace. Also does a great job though of shedding some light into your roadside hotels and motels like a Courtyard by Marriott or uh, the, uh, the even the little hotel they stay in in Schitt's Creek if any of you saw that show. Uh, believe it or not as a, uh, as a hospitality professional they went a lot into hotel management in that show so it was really really worth the watch there. But this chapter does an excellent job at describing the modern hotel industry uh, from corporate hotels to real estate investment trusts, management companies, real estate companies new builds, taking over and renovating an old build, uh, whether you're going to be a franchise, whether you're going to be corporate owned. I mentioned Marriott earlier. Uh, most of the Marriott's in the United States are not actually Marriott owned. They're owned by management companies or a real estate investment trust, but they carry the Marriott flag. So they have to uphold those standards. Uh, they also go into Hilton, Days Inn, all of that. So some names that you're really going to recognize. But some destination resorts that you may or may not recognize. Uh, there's an example in here of uh, Aspen Snowmass, which we'll talk about later in the semester. It's also called the Disney of the Rockies and, and, and onward. So I really, really want to encourage all of you to, to dig into Chapter 2 and really make sure that you're reading uh, and understanding the different market segments of uh, hotels and, and how that helps with hotel management because several of you... Uh, mentioned that you may want to go to and for your career through hotel management, and that's going to decide it, whether you have owners, whether you have a property manager, uh, whether you're corporate owned, franchise owned, or maybe hopefully one day you own your own hotel and maybe you're running that. So a uh, quick little blurb at the end of the chapter about timeshares. Don't need to focus too much on theirs because timeshares are kind of their own separate category, but you do need to know uh, what they are. And then um, as part of this chapter two, we're going to start talking about a major disruptor to uh, hotel operations in the travel industry, which is Airbnb, Verbo, and peer-to-peer, -peer, um, which has been a major dis market disruptor for about 10 years, but we're starting to see the bubble burst. And so we're going to talk about that more throughout that course because uh, I think it's important for you as students to understand those things. 
And I myself am actually uh, involved in some research and consulting on uh, why a lot of these areas with Airbnb uh, guests are starting to kind of throw their hands up and say, I'm going back to a traditional hotel where the electricity, the cable, the housekeeping, the cleaning, all that's just included and I don't have to worry about it. So some interesting tidbits coming up on that, but I want to say good luck with uh, chapter two. Please make sure you're, uh, you're doing those readings and uh, discussions, homework, and quizzes are all due by next Sunday, 11.59 p.m. Uh, lecture notes are attached at the top of the page in Brightspace. If you have any problems ask, accessing those, please let me know. And please let me know if you have any questions. Have a great week, everybody, and thank you so much.